Uh, it actually it wasn't so bad because we barely wore any makeup uh, in the film. Most of it was just like a BB cream, a tinted moisturizer kind of thing, and fake dirt. And that's about all we wore on the on the show. So it actually was a bit of a break for my skin, which was kind of amazing. Um, the biggest thing I had to remember to do was put sunscreen on because we were out in the middle of New Mexico all day every day. But we mostly shot nights, so I didn't really have to worry about that that much either. We slept during the day. I became nocturnal, but it was it was a nice break, and I stayed really hydrated because you know we were in the desert. And we kept at elevation. We kept making each other drink water, and it, it was kind of a nice nice time for my skin actually. Yeah. Well, honestly, I was a little trepidatious jumping in, um, but I knew Dylan from a few MTV things that I'd done, and I, Dexter Darden and I have been friends for years. So um, jumping in, I knew a few people, but still, you never know how the group dynamic is. But within the first hour, I felt like I'd been there from day one, and they're very good about that. You know, if you're willing to jump in and be a part of the group, they'll welcome you with open arms. So I'm very much looking forward to hopefully shooting the death cure soon, and and that'll be great to to reunite with that family. Yeah. I went to Comic Con with Shadowhunters. I went to New York Comic Con um, this year, and that was absolutely incredible. We had people dressed up as as Clary and as Isabel and Simon, and all the characters. They all had their runes on. It was amazing. the The response from the fans was so overwhelming and so wonderful, and it was amazing to get to see everyone and meet them and hear their thoughts and their stories about why they love these characters so much. Now, before you joined the cast of Shadowhunters, did you read the book? I was reading the first book during the casting process, and then after I was cast, I finished reading the series while we were shooting, and um, it's, I fell in love with the books and these characters, and it's, it's so nice to be a part of a project where you have such a rich base from which to draw. It's beautifully filmed. I was Thank really you. Well, they, I know they changed the name from ABC um, Family, now it's called... Freeform. Freeform. Yes. <laughs> it is. No, but what's great about it is that ABC Family is so successful. Um, ABC Family was so successful in their demographic that now, moving forward, they're, they're refusing to be a stagnant company. They're continuing to move forward, they're staying ahead of the game, and they're continuing to grow and change with their audience, and I think that's brilliant. Now, what did you learn about filming the show versus being in the movie? Because it's, you know, it's the same geek sort of thing. Yeah, it's, they're very different shows, though. Maze Runner is very much grounded in, in the grit and the rawness of, you know, being literally in the dirt and running around and, and the reality of it all. And Shadowhunters has a bit more fantasy to it, even though it still is very dark and gritty and grounded. And the, the humanity is very much played upon, even though we do have the element of fantasy. But, you know, it's very different. With television versus film, there's different time constraints and, you know, different hours that you're working and different things that you have to deal with. But both projects are just, I feel so lucky to be a part of. And the casts are amazing. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to people seeing the rest of, of Shadowhunters. The movie was great. I'm such a fan of Lily Collins and of all of her work I have such a respect for. But, you know, we're definitely utilizing, we're taking a new a new approach to the story and a new approach to these characters and utilizing the medium of television to our advantage to really make sure that it's a different retelling of these characters' story. Definitely. I, I feel like you're getting to you know everybody a little bit better. Yeah. It's not the same constraints. Yeah. Can you give us a clue on the upcoming episode? Well, in this next episode um, that's coming up next Tuesday, we... The, the gang moves forward to try and find Clary's memories. And we end up meeting a greater demon. So that's the next sort of mission that we go on. And um, let me tell you, the greater demon is not easy to deal with. It's very temperamental. So there's uh, lots of danger coming up next week, and it's very exciting. And of course, the relationships continue to develop, and some characters that everybody loves to ship may or, not, may or may not be meeting for the first time, and it's very exciting. So I, I really can't wait for people to see. One last question. Do you have to do any of your own uh, fight scenes to get to murder anything? Yeah, I actually did the majority of my stunts and my fight scenes for the show. Um, I, I begged to do everything, and everything that they could let me do with insurance, they let me do, which was 
was amazing. I had an amazing stunt double, and I learned so much from her. And um, but but most of what you see on screen from all of us is actually us. Because that was something that we really took pride in was doing our own stunts and really bringing the physicality to the characters. I thought so. I yeah. So looked like you guys. And I was like, oh, yeah. This stunt double must be a twin. <laughs> Well, we used to get confused on set. When she was on set, because she had a wig that was literally the exact replica of my hair. And so from behind, people would confuse us for each other all the time. It was hysterical. That is so fun. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Thank you. So at in a couple of months. Oh, amazing. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much.